I, for one, support this franchise. Hi, everyone. Very, very new, but our very, very new franchise. Six months old and still has, already has two films uh, that make it up. So, hi everyone, it's me, Grant, the movie and TV guy. Movies and TV is what we do here. Hello, uh, we're going to raise a welcome with Grant. Today we're talking about a movie, because of course, movies and TV is what we do here. Let's jump right into it. Uh, that movie is Pearl. Uh, Pearl is uh, written and directed... Co-written, this one actually, directed and edited by Ty West, and is co-written by, and starring, and produced by Mia Goth. Um, and this film, Ty West, didn't he have another movie this year? He did. This is a prequel to it. Um, yeah, let's go back to the dewy slopes of March 2022, uh, when we reviewed X, uh, and I announced with glee after the credits that there was uh, another movie coming. It's here. Uh, so Pearl is a prequel to X. And um, it is set long, long, nearly 60 years uh, prior to the events of X. We begin in 1918. Um, we were in the waning days of WW1. And the Spanish flu has uh, caused a pandemic. Sound a little bit familiar to now? Sure does. Um, and a uh, young uh, Pearl is a young woman who is uh, married to her beloved Howard, who we saw a lot of, some will say too much in X, um, but he's away in the war, and Pearl has to um, stay at the farmhouse uh, taking care of her ill father, but she dreams of being in pictures, as she says, she dreams of having that X factor and singing and dancing like they do in her favorite film. Um, she soon forms an unexpected bond with a projectionist. Um, but eventually, um, things begin to take a turn. You see, Pearl's not just any other, um, old farm gal. She's, uh, there's something wrong with Pearl. Let's just put it that way. And, uh, when she, when she, uh, um, has to face up to it, she will become a star or die trying. And in this case, she won't die, she'll kill. It's the birth of a psycho and a lot of old Hollywood Technicolor magic. Let the blood and guts and crocodiles, because the crocodile's back, of course, you have to bring the crocodile back. Um... And, uh, the movie homages begin. So, uh, yeah, let's start. So, Pearl. Um, there was a lot of high expectations for me going into this film. Um, as you may know, so far this year, one of my favorite films is X. I think it's a phenomenal horror thriller. It's a terrific throwback to the exploitation era. So, I'm it, very, very happy that this has now become sort of a franchise of sorts. Um, but the question is, how is Pearl? Because... Even from that trailer, which was done in a grindhouse style, you could tell it was going to be very different. And it is. Pearl? I don't know if Pearl is better than X, but it's as good as X. And that's... that's And it enriches X, and that's saying something. I still fucking love Pearl. And what I loved about it is that more often than not, until quite a good ways into it, it's not that much of a horror film. Um, and I don't mean that necessarily in a negative way. It's more of like an old Hollywood... It literally is like... Imagine if like an old Hollywood thing like The Wizard of Oz or Meet Me in St. Louis or Oklahoma got s suddenly... Or even like an old, old live-action Disney film from like the 50s and 60s and 30s was suddenly attacked too many cook style by a slasher movie. That's kind of what Pearl is. He, uh, Ty West described it as uh, like a demented Disney film. That's basically what it is. And I love that. Um, it, it's, uh, it's just like X. It's gross and grungy and, you know, bloody and, and gooey and ooey and all that stuff. But in a, very, but in a bright and colorful way. The thing about X was is that it's, it very much was true to the House of the Devil aesthetic, of, which was one of T.S.'s earlier films. In that it was, has that grungy 70s film stock look and feel to it. This one, from the opening shot, which is also in the trailer of the barn door opening as the credits roll in this old-fashioned font, 
he's very much going for that old Hollywood early Technicolor feel of like the main f- p- plot of you know Wizard of Oz. There's even some homages to Wizard of Oz, uh, particularly um, there. There's uh, Pearl. There's a uh, a reoccurring sort of motif of Pearl um, on her bicycle dressed suspiciously like Mrs. Gulch before she becomes the Wicked Witch of the West in the Wizard of Oz. All the way down to, like, some similar music stings. Um, T.I. West is a great visual filmmaker. There's another truly terrifying shot, um, without giving too much away, in which a key character is chased by Pearl. There's this long, there's this far away wide shot of her following her soon-to-be victim down the, you know, sort of the primrose path of the barn that is truly, truly terrifying and very well shot. And the final shot of this film is chilling. And what makes this movie work? And I think what makes this movie work, and you can tell this came from an idea from Mia Goth to Ty West while they were making X. And you can tell because this is the Mia Goth show. Like in several scenes, it really it's almost just Mia Goth. There's this like really, really kind of insane scene with a scarecrow and some dry humping. Where she is acting the hell out of it. And the capturing this character who, like many a psycho, is inside is a scared little kid. Um, in the body of a woman who's just trying to break free. But the thing is, is that it doesn't degrade the Pearl character. Much like X, there are deeper themes going on about how basically the role of women back then is in a lot of ways, even with the progress we've had, it's way too similar to how it is now. And Ty West does an amazing job of really getting to the heart of that. And his leading lady is just phenomenal. I, Mia Goth, I've always liked her in the small thing, bit parts of Cinerin and things like Emma and whatnot. But between this movie and her dual performance in X, as Maxine and as Pearl in that film... What an actress. She's a star, and Pearl's a great film, just like its predecessor. And I'm going to give it just like its predecessor. You see it. Bang. Five out of five stars for Pearl. This was a wild ride. Very different. I think people need to temper their expectations and understand that it is a different animal, but it is a. But when it gets, but when it gets rolling, it is a vicious beast, uh, much like the earlier film. All right. That is five out of five stars for Pearl. Let's close the book on it. Uh, okay. Trailer Trash. Let's talk some Trailer Trash. We got a couple of new ones in there. Some old hits, too. Amsterdam. Talk about it looks good. Black Panther. We're kind of forever. Talk about it looks good. Something in the Dirt. We talked about it once before with Medieval, I think. Looks really interesting. Um, Red Band. Halloween Ends. We're talking about it a bunch. Looks good. Triangle of Sadness. This looks kind of interesting. Apparently it won the Palm d'Or, according to the trailer uh, at this year's Cannes Film Festival. Um, looks really bizarre and funny and weird. It looks like my kind of movie. It looks very much like a real grotesque dark comedy. I'm into it. I'll, I'll, I'll check it out. Smile. God, it looks like, not only Smile, it's one of those trailers where it's a trailer and then they're really, really promoting the tickets are on sale for it. Like, whatever. Doesn't look good, people. I, I mean, I will be surprised. I'm going to see it in a couple weeks. I will be surprised if it's decent. It just looks... Maybe it's just a crappy trailer, but it just doesn't look that good. And then finally, The Inspection. This is the next uh, A24 film. And it's a true story. It's about a man who is um, who is gay, and he joins um, the Marines to prove something to his mother, and it's about sort of him, you know, trying to deal with the expectations that people have of sort of masculinity um, in that time period. And also trying to be the real him looks really, really good. Um, the Gabrielle Union is a mom in it. Uh, looks really good. Uh, if I didn't say what that was called, The Inspection. Um, looks really interesting. And was there Sharma? Well, yes, there was. Um, there is a little uh, little something. There are two post-credits, actually. The last scene of the movie goes through almost the entirety of the credits. And it's that last shot I was referring to. Then there is um, a little, little extra something. And then after that, let's just say there's a little tease of what's coming next. All before the final A24 logo, so definitely stay in your seat all the way until the lights come back up. Yeah, we're getting to part three, everybody. I'm really excited for it. Um, 
that's what it just like X. We got a little taste of what's to come, and it looks like fun. All right, we will be back. Uh, that's it. We will be back tomorrow, bright and er, uh, bright and early, early evening, to talk about uh, see how they run uh, the new English comedy starring Sam Rockwell and Saoirse Ronan, among others. We will also have a review Saturday of the Viola Davis action thriller The Woman King, um, as well as the John Hamm comedy reboot Confess Fletch. Um, and then Monday we'll have a review of the David Bowie IMAX documentary Moon Age Daydream. Uh, that'll all be next time. And until next time, also on the horizon, Don't Worry Darling, on the come up, and Avatar Retro Review. Uh, that'll all be next time. And until next time, I'm Grant the Movie and TV Guy. I see it all. I'm happy to share it with you. I love you all. I appreciate you all. I love all class Smith. I love you thousand. Be kind to one another. If you like this video, give it a like if you want to. Give it a subscribe if you want to. Give it the bell, I don't know what it does that's supposed to do. Uh, leave a comment, even if it's Hey Grant, I like waffles, it really helps out. Um, you want to find me on this, or reviews this and other fun stuff, you can check me out on letterbox.com at Raisin Popcorn with Grant. Uh, Facebook, Raisin Popcorn with Grant. My podcast, Raisin Popcorn with Grant, the podcast on Spotify to Anchor. Want to know what TV I've been watching? Um, you can check me out on Serialized. I am all one word, all lowercase, raised on popcorn. Um, some of you already have, but even if you haven't, take care of yourself, take care of your mental health, it's incredibly important. And I want to know down below, what did you think of Pearl? Did you like the movie? Hate the movie? Think my opinion's good? Think I'm full of shit? Comment below, let me know. And until we meet again, we're all raised on popcorn. Make mine with extra butter. Catch you guys next time. Take care. See you around.